Next, we're gonna talk about those kids that have huge sensitivities to nail trimming. Oh, I hear this a lot from families, and this is a tough one. So here are a bunch of strategies to help you get through this much needed to do task once in a while. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is I want you to make sure you're always trimming nails when the nails are soft. So that means after a bath or after water play of some sort, if your child loves to play in the water, get those nails nice and soft so it's much easier to cut them. The next thing I'm gonna suggest is get some baby nail cutters for babies. They are much smaller and they work much better on those little fingers that you are trying to cut. Um, even for a little bit older kids, they can still benefit from using those little baby clippers. They're just um, a little bit more friendly on the nail. If your child is completely aversive to the nail clippers, you could also try filing their nails. Maybe that sensation is more acceptable to them and you could try just doing filing. You might have to do it a bit more regularly, um, but uh, it is another option to try. And again, I would do it with a really good nail file and when the nails are quite soft. The next strategy is going to be one you might have heard before, the one, two, three strategy, where we're gonna give them that pre-warning, that one, two, three, snip, and you snip the nail. Or you can do one, two, three, snip, snip, and you get the whole nail done in one go. And then you give your child a break, because that's their window of tolerance, and you work within that and gradually try to expand it as you can. The next strategy, another one you've heard, is using that visual again. First, we're gonna clip your nails, then we're going to get ice cream. Whatever it is that you want to do um, to give them that motivation that if I can endure this and get through this with mom or dad, I get to have ice cream or something really cool. So again, a nice thing, um, these are hard activities for children to endure, so we wanna make sure we give them a nice reward for, for getting through it and, and managing and, and learning how to cope a bit better with a sensation that they find super uncomfortable. Remember, it is uncomfortable for your child. This isn't a behavior, this isn't um, something they're doing to annoy you. They are responding this way because their brain has gone to that fear response and they think this is unsafe. So we need to try to keep them as calm as possible throughout the activity, let them know what to expect, give them a great reward for getting through it and move on with your day. All right, so once you've got the uh, visual going, the next thing I want you to think about is, again, that desensitizing to the area. So maybe what you could do is get a nice aromatherapy oil and do a massage to the nail beds and the ends of the fingers or to the whole hand, you know? When we go for a manicure, we get that whole massage thing going on. So that just might be something, again, that takes um, a little bit of the pressure off. If I apply pressure to my finger through a massage, my my finger feels warmed up and I will be more likely able to tolerate that snip sensation on my nail when it gets cut. So get yourself some nice oil and make it a fun thing to do with your child. Another thing you can do is you can do that heavy work activity before you start this nail cutting activity. So again, Go do something fun, run to the end of the street and back, um, do some wheelbarrow walks, or um, get your child to, I don't know, do five push-ups or something like that. Just something to sort of get the body a little bit more relaxed and able to cope with the sensation that we know they don't prefer. The last thing I'm gonna say is, if you can't get them to do nail cutting with all these strategies I've suggested, you might have to resort to doing it when they're asleep. I hate to say it, but that just might be where your child is at, and if they have that super strong fear response, they just might not be ready to do it live when they're awake. So when they're asleep, and usually kids sleep fairly deeply, if you did a nice um, you know, uh, massage to their nail with some oil to make them soft, and then you just quickly snip as many nails as you can get um, in one sitting, I would go that route. Um, you might have to get it done over a couple of days, but at least it's one way to get that, um, that job completed. 